Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Diminished role of Christian Wood makes little sense for Mavericks. By trading for Kyrie Irving at the NBA trade deadline in February, the Dallas Mavericks have sent a message to the rest of the league that they are ready to challenge for the title this season. After all, Irving's contract expires this summer. So that means it s now or never. However, that message was tempered recently, as the coaching staff made a decision that suggests the organization isn't he necessarily looking to win right. A way dot during the month of February, Christian Wood, the team's third best player, emerged averaging just 19 minutes of playing time per game. In the two March games he has played so far, that number has dropped to 17.8 minutes. Why do oh, you d think that any player experiencing a sharp drop in playing time wasn't he having productive basketball plays? But that is not the case with Wood in February, the 6'10 forward averaged 13.7 points and 5.8 rebounds in those limited minutes, it helps too. Not keen on bringing Wood to the Dallas franchise, since like Irving he is a full free agent this summer, if head coach Jason Kidd and the coaching staff continue to give him inconsistent minutes, there is little reason for Wood to stay. The bigger question here, of course, is what exactly Dallas intends to do, and whether they can properly fight for the title without playing one of their top players. Additionally, sending Irving and Luka Don I, the two stars spearheading the team's aspirations well into the postseason, is an odd mark. Irving could brand the Mavericks as insatiable for the win and leave immediately. In that case, the Mavericks would seriously risk Don I developing a wandering eye, losing both Irving and Wood right after trading Dorian Finney-Smith. One of Don I's best friends on the team would leave the Mavericks vulnerable to a potential trade call from their Slovenian superstar. Wood is in contention for minutes with Dwight Powell, Maxi Kleber and Javel McGee, which isn't he exactly a trio of bigs to gain minutes against him. Wood is the lone big who can carry a heavy shot load, as well as being the most versatile offensive screen partner for Irving and Don I due to his ability to both roll and pop. Wood, one could argue, is the best offensive big man Don I has ever played with, and the decision to bench him for long stretches, is downright odd not to work as an asset for them. Irving and Don I will be overburdened with shots, and the remaining big men in the roster will struggle to generate an efficient offense on their own. Granted, you always stand a chance in the playoffs if you have Don I in the lineup, which should underscore the absurdity of his talent and influence, but there's little point laying the cards on his table if you don't he must.